good YouTube. It is Saturday and I am bringing you guys a pickup that I just got this morning. I apologize on the delay in videos. I put up one Tuesday from SneakerCon over the past weekend. I don't know if it was the traveling or just in general, but I've been pretty sick this week, so I actually missed a day of work. I just have not been uploading, making any videos, so I do apologize I did not get another video up. But as most of you know, the Yeezy version two of the 350 released today in the Beluga colorway, and I was fortunate enough to lock it down. So I'm gonna show them to you guys real quick, and then as far as an on feet goes, I plan on going out to do that later today, if not tomorrow. Also show you guys some of the stuff that I got from the past week, including the sneaker con pickups. But before we get any further, if you guys don't mind, if you guys would leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. As you guys know, it helps to spread the video out among YouTubers, and it helps bring attention to my channel for those who are not already subscribed. The Yeezy Boost 350, and then it actually shows adidas.com Kanye. The size label sticker was covering up, but it does show made by Adidas on the other side. And I know a lot of people are gonna be looking for these. That's the only reason I wanted to show you guys. So you do not get scammed. So the one thing I did not know, it's probably because I didn't pay attention at all, but this is actually a slide out box. And just as a comparison, these are both size 10, and you can see that the one on the top is the version one. The box is a little bit smaller, both in the width and the depth, but they're basically the same. The one difference being on the version ones, the box actually has these that open up, kind of like the Ben series. I believe they have the pull open box like that. But for version two, they decided to go a new route and they actually did the slide out boxes. There's nothing to actually pull out right there. That's actually the back of the box. The front of the box where it actually slides open is the back. Go ahead and get these open real quick. The standard paper, as always, receipt. And the only noticeable sticker that I do see inside the box, I will zoom in so you can see what it looks like. Other than that, I don't see like a stamp like you would see on Jordan boxes on the top. It's just that little sticker. Here they are, guys. The Yeezy 350 version two in the Beluga colorway. On the actual box itself, it says STE gray. I'll have to look up and see what that actually shows, but then it does show Beluga in solar red. The first thing I noticed was it looks a little bit skinnier on the top as far as the toe boxes go. I I will show you guys on feet so you can see, and every single Yeezy that I've got besides the 750s, I've gone size 10. So as far as comparisons go, every Ultra Boost that I have, all the ones you can see in the back and the ones that are in the closet, every single Ultra Boost is a 10 and a half, and then I always go a little bit down for Yeezys. These run a little bit smaller than the last version, so you could actually go maybe a half size up. I have tried these on, and it seems like it is a little tight in the toe box, so I think you will be okay if you go up half a size. I wouldn't suggest going up a full size. Most of the time when people say, oh, we'll just go in stores and try them out, Obviously, a limited shoe like this, you're just gonna have to take your best guess. I always try to leave sizing issues in case you guys really are looking for these on eBay, any other app, and you're wanting to make sure that you do get the right size for how much you're gonna be paying. These were 220, and I picked these up from our finish line raffle. Unfortunately, they do not allow the discount, so they ended up total being 235. And I know some people were wanting to know as far as the color comparison to the color is the Moon Rock. They really almost are exactly the same color except for this being translucent. It's a little bit darker hits on this shoe. But other than that, that is by far the closest comparison to the colors. There are expected to be a lot of colors. I will show you guys the picture so you can see. It looks like a lot of predominantly black colorways with the different colored stripes. Hopefully we do see some other colors as we saw Kanye last night was wearing the Moon Rock colorway or what they are calling the Moon Rock colorway. And the only writing on this shoe is the Supply 350. It looks like they both start about halfway in the middle of the dip. Now the one thing I do like about these that I didn't think I was gonna like at first was the fact that there was no heel tab. I think initial pictures always make things look worse than they really are. As far as the insole goes, you can see the Adidas Yeezy, the three stripes on the back that run all the way down. Opposite of the medial side, right under the Supply 350, you can see the size tag. I will zoom in and do a screenshot so you can see what they look like. Again, I know tons of people already have these. I don't know how many people have done reviews. I just wanna make sure everybody is safe. Always, always question if people are trying to sell you guys stuff. If the seller gets mad for asking the legitimacy of his shoes that are over $1,000, then that's probably not somebody you need to deal with in the first place. If you're gonna spend that much money, you clearly wanna make sure you're getting what you pay for. Another complaint from the version ones is that the outsole was actually chipping away and they 
they went with that translucent look to it. It's actually a thicker material, so it looks like these are gonna hold up way better. Again, both of these are size 10. The version two is a lot bigger compared to the version one. One of the tall tale signs on legitimate pairs were those little dots on the boost on the version one. Version two, they kind of went with like how the 750s with the stripes on the boost. I have no idea what the fakes look like. I'm only stressing this because I know how many people have already asked for legit checks. I have no way of giving a legit check because I do not know what a fake looks like. If you guys want to know what those look like, you'll just have to search for that kind of stuff on your own. I apologize in advance, you're not going to find that on my channel. The one thing I wish they did have that they don't, the medial side, you'll see the Yeezy like on the Moonrock version. It just goes up a little bit higher on the actual outsole, but they did not do anything to show Yeezy or any branding of Yeezy at all other than the insole. And on the right shoe on the medial side is where you actually will find the tag. But this came from Finish Line Direct, so you can see what they look like on the medial side of the right shoe. Also on the right shoe, on the inside too, I just noticed there's a sticker. It's got the barcode, the US size 10, and any other info on the shoe. I tried scanning it on one of those apps where you can do the barcode and nothing pops up other than the UPC number. Maybe that's something that'll get updated, but for right now, I don't know really, really what you can do with this. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. The one thing I wanna know from you guys is let me know what you think of this particular colorway. If you're a fan of the version one or the version two, or which of the version twos you're most looking forward to. Also, this is the first video where I've talked since everything at SneakerCon was a vlog and it was done during the time. If you guys have not checked out that video, I uploaded it on Tuesday. It'll be the last video prior to this. I definitely suggest you guys checking it out. It was a great weekend. I actually stayed with Alex, Sneakerhead in the Bay, and David. David got kicks. They were nice enough to let me stay with them in the hotel and we hung out with everybody all weekend. It was a really good event. I've been to a few sneaker cons in the past. The one that I went to in Chicago and a few that I went to a few years ago. This by far was the best venue, the biggest show, the biggest turnout, and obviously the biggest stage since they did show a basketball game. So if you guys want to see any highlights, anything like that, just watch my video to see some of the behind the scenes and let me know what you guys think. Again, that's going to do it all for today, guys. I am going to take these, do an on feet, all that good stuff. I will do it on the next video. Let's kind of combine the next video with my weekly rotation, a vlog, my latest pickups, and just an on feet of these. That way it's just kind of a mix because I know people like to see a little combo of everything. Thanks again for everybody that supports the channel and all the new subscribers. For those of you not subscribed, go ahead and hit that gear button down below. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Yeah.